Today, we're gonna to be talking about the nine best engineering degrees, and we're actually gonna be ranking them from number nine all the way to number one. And we're gonna be talking about some key things like what the engineering degree is all about, the salary, the demand, etc. And we're gonna jump into it right now after you smash that like button faster than Magnus Carlsen smashes resign whenever he plays Hans Niemann. All right, so number nine on the list is going to be aerospace engineering. So basically this is the engineering that covers everything that flies through the air or in space. And according to my college degree ranker, when you look at this, the early career pays $69,000 a year mid-career pays $118,000 a year. The salary score is going to be 89.1, which is really good. And the demand score is 100. The meaning score is very subjective, but this one's about 58%. When you look on glassdoor.com, it says they make about $95,000 a year. And when you type in aerospace engineering on LinkedIn and then sort by entry-level jobs, you're going to see that there's about 15,000 results. So overall, very good statistics across the board. And I actually combined number nine and number eight because you can still get an aeronautical engineering degree and that's aerospace minus things that go into space. So it's basically everything that flies through the air minus the things that go into space. So number eight and number nine are those two. Number seven on the list is going to be civil engineering. And these are the people who plan out the infrastructure for cities so that the traffic doesn't get congested and so that the cities look really nice. And also just the quality of life in general is really good. Now on my degree ranker, the early career pays $60,000, mid career pays 102,000, salary score is 69, and the demand score is is 103. Then meaning is 65%. So that's relatively good. According to Glassdoor, civil engineers make $78,000 a year. And when you look up civil engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 73,000 results. So yeah, civil engineering doesn't make the most money, but it's still relatively good. Number six on the list is going to be chemical engineering. Early career pay here is going to be $72,000 a year. Mid-career pay is $127,000. Salary score is 97. Very good and the demand score is 101 also very good then you've got meaning at about 56 percent chemical engineers make about a hundred thousand dollars a year according to Glassdoor. and if you look them up on linkedin you're going to see 23,000 results so overall very solid numbers i will say that chemical engineering isn't going to be as flexible as some of the other engineering degrees but still really well paying um, you know, first few years, you might have to take a job you don't necessarily want, but after that, you're going to be well off. Number five on the list is going to be industrial engineering. Early career pay here is $67,000. Mid-career pay is $110,000. Salary score is going to be 81. The demand score is 101, and the meaning is about 46%. According to Glassdoor, industrial engineers make about $87,000 a year. And if you look up industrial engineering on LinkedIn, you're going to see a very healthy 28,000 results. This is one that I am very bullish on in the future. You really do have that great combination of business skills, specifically like logistics and operations. Then you mix that with engineering skills. And that is just a really good combination in general. Very valuable. Number four on the list is going to be mechanical engineering. And this is the one that's super, super flexible. So early career pay is going to be 66,000. Big career pay is 110,000. Salary score is 81. Demand score is 105 and meaning is gonna be 51%. According to Glassdoor, mechanical engineers make $80,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, there is a whopping 109,000 results for jobs at the entry level. So yeah, mechanical engineer, very flexible. If you wanna go into engineering, but you don't know what you wanna do, Mechanical is probably gonna be a good choice. Number three on the list is electrical engineering. Now at this one, early career pay is $70,000. Mid-career pay is 119,000. Salary score is a very healthy 91. The demand score is an even more healthy 109. And meaning is 54%. According to Glassdoor, electrical engineers make $87,000 a year. And if you type in electrical engineering on LinkedIn, you are gonna see an astronomical 149,000 results results at the entry level. So electrical engineering, super, super good one to get into. It's also relatively flexible and it tends to lead to jobs in technology. Talked about this many times on the channel. The technology industry is without a doubt the best industry to go into. There's a ton of opportunity. There's great work-life balance. If you wanna have a chill job, there's gonna be chill jobs. If you want to you know, be really ambitious and you know, become like a CEO or a, a vice president, there's gonna be options to do that. For instance, I interviewed Antoine from the YouTube channel 
Black Heights on my channel. He makes over $540,000 a year in tech sales. And he started off at the bottom in the technology industry. He learned more and more, and then he was eventually able to work himself into a tech sales position, did really well at that, and now he makes, I believe, over $600,000 a year. Now, if you're somebody who wants to make a lot of money, but you don't necessarily want to do engineering, you're kind of just doing engineering to make money, I really don't recommend doing that. Instead, what you should do is check out tech sales, and I do have free training, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Josh was one of those people where he was doing engineering because he wanted to make the money. He decided it's not such a good idea because it's probably going to take like five to six years to get done with his engineering degree. So he went into tech sales and he was able to immediately land a $70,000 plus a year job. So yeah, Course Careers does have that free training. Check them out. They also offer more advanced training where they'll actually get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies. So that can be something to look into as well. And if you decide to do that, use my coupon code down in the description, which is Shane50. Number two on the list is another one that you can go into the tech industry with, which is going to be computer engineering. With this one, early career pays $72,000 a year, mid-career pays $120,000, salary score is 93, the demand score is 107, and the meaning is 46. According to Glassdoor, computer engineers make $73,000 a year, and according to LinkedIn, there's 109,000 computer engineering jobs at the entry level, so very, very solid stats there. Number one on the list is going to be one that you've probably heard about quite a bit on this channel, and that is software engineering engineering. Early career pay here, 69,000. Mid-career pays 112,000. Salary score is 86. Demand score is a whopping 127. And meaning is about 39. According to Glassdoor, software engineers make $105,000 a year. And if you type in software engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see an absolutely bananas 432,000 results. So this is why I talk about on the channel so many times why software development, software engineering is so good. Look at all the results for that. Tons of opportunity there. So yeah, I've had an entire playlist of people who have broken into the tech industry by using course careers. I'll put that playlist right here. You can check out Josh's video. Josh was an engineering student who used course careers to break in. 